Hi, my name is Trisha Kelly, and I'm here to share some of my experiences and my learnings that I've had for over 30 years. And one of them was the wonderful conversations that I had with Dr. Peebles, amazing man. And during one of our conversations in 1987, I asked him about aliens and spaceships and how and where and all sorts of stuff so enjoy and listen he does make reference to a 40 year um, past which would take it back to 44 1944 around or I mean sorry around that time so it's all relevant and nothing very much has changed except we are getting closer and closer to the new earth My statement in answer to your question is not a theory. From my understanding, I will offer to you a statement that I have discovered through my studies in the Akatic records, through my contact with beings from off the planet Earth. Life as you know life, even to humanoid form, exists on other planets. Far removed from this, your current galaxy. The planet Earth developed life on its own. But many, many thousands and thousands of years ago, beings from those other planets came to visit, attracted to a similar atmosphere, attracted to similar life forms. They experimented with integrating their life with the life available on the planet Earth, creating a form of mutation that created human, as you know, human. These beings, in the evolution of time, withdrew. In many ways, they were driven away. In many ways, they were disillusioned. But they misused terribly some of the energies that had been developed, even to the point of physical destructions taking place upon the planet. The approaching of the aquarium here puts into focus an energy that has not been aligned for many thousands of years here on earth. And so many of these beings have been returning over the last nearly 40 years more intensely. But it goes even to the last few hundred years. But now they are being seen more. Ships are being seen more. Even some of the beings, the physical entities, are being noticed. There are others from still other parts of the universe who have begun visiting the planet Earth, guiding it, encouraging it. There is a league of off-planet associates who have stationed their vehicles around the planet in an effort to help stabilize the planet during the upcoming changes, the shift of the action. It will not be avoided totally, but they are helping transmute it, so it will not be massive destruction. These beings guide the physical planet. They guide the animal planet, the humans, the other life forms. Some of those beings 
and in physical shapes from other planets. Some of these beings are what you would even define as ascended masters. They are intangible. Though their ships are real, their ships cannot be seen or found. They are equal to sources of energy. Consider the concept of beings from another dimension entering the dimension which you exist upon upon the planet Earth. Yes, there are other life forms in the universe. Yes, they do. Many of them are as human looking as you. There are others who are not human looking, but are spiritually human aware. Does that answer your question? Yes. yes. But to think about ah I, I like them very much. I like oh, them. yes, and they're very real. Yeah. I like the thought of them being more than here and now on this planet. Oh, yes. Especially with the way the planet is. And there is great need for their presence. The energy of alignment that is taking place allows them a greater degree of presence. Now, for instance, there is what is known as a mothership, which hovers directly to the east of the city of Los Angeles. It is that mothership that has been helping over the last four, maybe four and one half years, the purifying of the atmosphere. And also many have noticed that the air pollution conditions have been improving rather than worsening with the worsening conditions. Many, many people, similar to yourself, have been sensing the presence, have been seeing them at night, in light, in shape, feeling their presence in the inner recesses of your minds, in your dreams. Yes, they are very real and very necessary to the very disturbed planet at this time. I wrote a wonderful song called Where Would an Alien Land? about where, where they would land because there's so much destruction on the planet, where would they want to come to? So. Excellent, excellent, interesting. Now I would not ask in any way that you change the words of this song. But I suggest at the moment the mothership. Many of these ships, when they find a place to land, they transmute the energy so totally that there is no negative. The atmosphere is clear. And for as long as they are there, everything, the plants, everything, are clear. And when the ship goes and flies dead, often there seems to be a residue as if there had been a fire or a great flame. It was not a great flame. It was that the energy of purity was so intense that when purity was removed and the negativities came in again, everything drowned to the earth itself with it and down. You understand? Mm -hmm. Interesting concept, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Do you have anything else to say from you? My dear. Unless you have a very specific question, I believe we have stated all that is there. Yes. Yeah. Lots to think about, but not only on your side. You gave to me and the others here much to consider. You gave us much encouragement. It is not always encouraging to watch the human beings and think, Oh my goodness, are they going to go round and round and never grow and never explore? And then there are those, similar to yourself, who give to us the encouragement so that we see that as you grow, we grow. As you develop, we develop. And so we are able to build an interconnectedness 
not only the spirit world, to the earth, to the earth world, to the spirit world, who are brothers and sisters of the planet earth. Most, most encouraging. Thank you for this delightful opportunity to be together. Go in peace and light and love and kindness. May the gods and may the kingdoms bless you. Thank you. Um, as you can see, Dr. Peebles is absolutely an amazing channel. He still is doing this through a few other people, so you can find him online. He was amazing inspiration for my book, Spirit Boy, and I felt that I was very connected to him and all of the information that came through. So that is on Amazon if you want to check it out. Um, the journey never ends, and I just want to say... Choose the messages that work for you and let go of the ones that don't. Always, always, always. Bring the power to set us free, and they're not just here to conquer a new galaxy. 